Not wearing any underwear, are you going to be able to concentrate? Not if you aren't here. <laughs> I'm on my way. We had some weather in Washington, so I just got off the plane. I don't think I'll make curtain, but I won't miss your entrance. Have I ever missed? <laughs> Wrong. It is the last joke. Oh, he said for us or for the show. For us. Oh, touched. Hold on. Hang on, Victor. Hey, what's up? Clang doesn't like London right now. Is Paris set up? Yeah, I just have to talk to Brian. Already did, already did. He's fine with it. Very much looking forward to seeing us in New York for a little champagne toast. I said Friday be okay? Sounds fine. I'll call you later, okay? Russell? Mm -hmm. Sorry, baby. Not your husband. Uh-huh. Now where were we? Oh, yeah. My underwear. Look, I didn't want to tell you this over the phone. What is it, Victor? I am counting on you for dinner, you know. Why? What do you mean, why? George is dawdling on this thing. He desires you, and I think he can close it tonight. That's why. Um, you know, I don't think I can make it, but uh, I'll try to make dessert, okay? Don't wait for me. George, thanks for holding. Listen, nine might be better if it's not too late. Good? Russell? Yes. We had a deal, remember? So you're just gonna have to deal with me pining. The morning over what we might have had together. You didn't hang up? Not yet. So what does that mean? I can't do this. If you're gonna bail, you best do it now. But you didn't scare her away. Sounded too much like you meant it. I did. Ten minutes till curtain, everyone. Here we go, folks. Last night. Well, then I feel like Cupid. Please. Don't hurt her if that's what this is about. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Life is a walking shadow. Poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. Then is heard no more. It's a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. If you move or speak, this blows. It's very sensitive. <laughs> For the next few moments, you're gonna be closer to your God than you've ever been. Don't waste it. Everyone, let's get going. Something, fool. Hey, Glenn. 
How's the salmonella business? Hey, Papa Chulo. I got kosher, man. I got turkey, 100% beef, you know, and all that good stuff. What, no vegetarian? I got vegan, baby. Best in the market. Can't tell the difference. Forget it. Me, I'm gonna go all the way. 100% beef. And lips. It's true. What are you gonna do with the lips, man? Some and all that stuff. It's all 100% cow. Very funny. I'll see you next week. My regards to your boss. You lose our little darling again. He told me he'd be back by right now. Have you seen him? The sense? No. Not yet. Hey! Find the ice queen, Rich! You find him! Still not in her seat. Left a message on myself ten minutes ago saying he would be here ten minutes ago. Shit. Okay, five more minutes, everyone. Should I be getting dressed? Fuck off. Okay. I'll get dressed anyway. Just in case. Week already? Yeah. Last performance tonight. We're having a big party. Yeah. Oh, they got some big numbers coming in from New York next. Oh yeah? Yeah. Big deal. Oh. Wow. You take care of yourself, huh? Got a good thing going on, you and me, huh? Liberty Wallace. Nice to meet you, Liberty Wallace. My name's Joe. What can I do for you, Joe? Stand still. Excuse me? 
I'll need you to pay attention. Look, I'm late for a play. Who is this? You mean you're late for your weekly? Whoever you are, if you call here one more time. I didn't expect a like, Russell. Well, then again, I guess you didn't expect a like of me either. About half hour. Oh, Dwayne I had to take a whiz, so he needs you to step in. What do you want? Walk over to the hot dog stand. You need to be closer. You need to know I've locked a signal onto your cell number. There's a bomb. A really big bomb in that hot dog stand. I'll shoot innocent people. We've got a bit of ground to cover. So I don't want to have to kill you. Walk closer to the stand. If your cell phone goes dead or you touch the mute button for any reason, it'll blow. It's a reversible translation. No off switch. There's enough explosive in there to take out the whole block. So, you have a little problem on your hands. What? Now, take a breath. Liberty, could you please check your battery? Cause we need to know how much time we have. It's half charged. Well, that gives us about 80 minutes. There's a pair of cuffs hanging on the cart. You got quite a decision to make. Tell me what you want. Your soul. Fine, name a price. Do you really think I'd go through all this trouble for cash? You're going to have to put on that ankle cuff. And then we're going to have a talk. Do it. Do it. No! Okay, okay. Oh. No. On your ankle, please. Well, not sure. There's no guarantees, but I Tug, show me it's secure. Okay, now I'll make an honest man of myself. Open the top left door of the cart. Jesus. I'm guessing you know what that is. Take it you have some political affiliations. No. That's the problem. I need yours. Look, we could just cut to the chase here. I'm guessing you have a 223. Sophisticated. You mean expensive. That too, which means you're connected. Yeah. All right, you've got me standing still. What's next? Easy. I get to decide how this goes down. I know it's not Russell. Because he's backstage thinking about your future. He's wondering whether you put your back on and I'm making a run for it. I'm sure you're wondering if I'm working for your husband. I'm not. If he knew about Russell, he'd take it hard, and he's a very violent man. Hey, is uh, Dwayne around? Uh, no, he stepped away. All right. He's going to be back soon?
Did he leave anything for Frank? Tell him something. He looks desperate. No. What? Uh, I don't eat meat. <laughs> he thinks you warned him about the cops. You having fun, Joe? Yes. But not like you think. How much do you want? Nothing. It's not about cash. It's about you. You have two choices. First, you die an American hero. Second, you die still working for the fat man. Look, I have accounts all over the world. I have unlimited resources. Tell me how much you want. champagne inside that pretty head. I don't see where this is going. Ah, liberty. Memory lane. The former you. Life before the Bulgari handbag. What happened? You know, my husband Can't is... Can't this on him. He's just a thug. Working on any side of the law that'll give out a check. Well, by the medals he earned during his stint with the military, some would say he's a hero. What would you say, Liberty? I don't know. I don't think this is about what I think of my husband's track record. Do heroes pray for war so that they can sell their bullets? We never discuss our business. Okay, Liberty. You're in my sight line. You're standing next to a bottle, but you're not at liberty to discuss that you and your husband manufacture guns and sell them to any f country or street asshole or all-American kid who will pay you the cash. <sighs> Hooray for the American dream. If you want something, ask for it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna hang up. Go ahead. Go ahead. about the sale to Poland? Serbia. Poland. Denial is a curious thing. This ship had never made it to Poland. Serbia. Scrolls. Kids on both sides. All died. So you were there? Cute. Don't make me pull the trigger. It's just a kid. I have nothing to lose, Liberty. Well, haven't you figured that out yet? You know a lot about me. But I'm thinking. Just amazing, Joe. And I'm your only friend at this moment. My final confessor. That too. So you're whacking off right now, baby? Hmm? Working out some domination bullshit? Tread carefully, dear. Why? This game of yours the way I see it. I die either way. May as well have some fun. VP marketing. Wow. McLeod is standard in American weaponry. Kind of like Beretta is to towns. Ah, so that's what this is about. Your dilemma. Is when to pull the plug on the block and who you're going to take with you and who you're going to take with you. What's that? Yeah. You 
just been shot at by your best-selling rifle. How does it feel? How's it supposed to feel? Real. You look fine. I'm terrified. Is that what you want me to say? Star, you've got a little over an hour to sound like you really mean it. <sighs> I want to know what makes me so... Funny, I feel absolutely sane. I know what it's like to be twisted and crazy. Something I don't think that you've ever experienced. Well, I've had my moments. Uh, don't compete. Are you probably crazier than I've ever been? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a long walk, and then you'll know. I, I mean, I don't have to. Good God, he sucks. Can't go out there. So you're quite a shot. Yeah. I started with BBs and squirrels. You're a pretty crack shot yourself. Well, you know, my father wanted a competition kid, so I went for the medals. What he did to me the first time he took me out in the bush. He shot this deer. The deer had a fawn. You know what he made me do? He made me shoot it. Close range. And you pulled the trigger. I hated him for making me do it. I had nightmares. How ironic. Yeah. Come on, let's get back to the point. Why are you doing this, Joe? You must meet all kinds in your business. Why do they? Come on, it's all corporately. It's not like I deal with every... Something? So it's about that. What if Russell slit his wrist? We should call the police. Slit his wrists? Russell's the happiest man I've ever met. Happiness is the best cover for clinical depression. What? Did he tell you he was depressed? A man is dating a barracuda was not to be depressed about. You know, we're in a bit of a time jam here. This guessing game's getting a bit tiring. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? Fair enough. I want you to understand loss. lost someone to a gun accident no accident a willful act premeditated your wife son Misery needs company. The blood is going to spill to your hands where it belongs, Liberty. There's hundreds of people who trade weapons. I'm just one tiny speck in all That's of all it takes. Presidents and three-year-olds die all in the name of the Constitution. They have metal detectors and cops in schools. What is that what makes America great? Okay, I get where this is going. I'll denounce my involvement in weapons. I'll uh, denounce the industry. I'll denounce death in general. Okay? We'll get the press here. We'll cause a big scene. Is that what you want? So foolish. Uh, look. <laughs> I know you must be dying inside, but I'm standing next to a goddamn bomb. And it's gonna cause some serious damage, so if you want coverage, come on, let's get it going. What were your father's last words? He has nothing to do with this. I guess blowing your brains out is is about as much as any one person can ever say. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about me and my family, Joe. It's personal.
and I get to atone for the sins of every cheap suit. God says, and your father. He has nothing to do with this. F you. This has nothing to do with my father. This is about you going postal. He's part of family. Bullshit. He is not. He you is are not. An impressionable kid. His money brought you into a society on both sides of the law. He's definitely part of this. No, he isn't. $5,000 watch. Idiot. That $25,000 wedding. You got it. Where's Dwayne, Ms. Liberty Wallace? Oh, he had to step away. I'm watching the stand. Doing this for a reason? You tell him. I shoot him. It's hot. This life is in your hands, to me. Get your clothes on. Yeah. I'll, I'll take whatever you're selling. Beat it. A hot dog for the road. Oh. Good for sales? I said beat it. Whatever you're on, lady, get more of it. Officer, are you all right? Oh my God. Hello? Yeah, there's, there's an officer here. He's bleeding. Uh, I don't know. The, I think the corner of a ninth and Grace. He was a bad cop. Addicted and on the take. Uh, my name? It's um George. Mechanister, look, I'm, I'm just standing here. I don't, I don't really want. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I guess. Uh, a lot of people are about to arrive. This is your window of opportunity, Liberty. Let's call your husband. No, don't. I'll three way you. Don't. Cloud Industries, Victor Wallace. Yes, is he there, please? May I say his call? Liberty. Excuse me? His wife. I'm calling for his wife, who asked me to call because she's in a bit of a jam right now. Please hold. <laughs> What's up, Liv? She's on the other line. The conference. And who is this? I'm Joe. Your wife's cuffed to a bomb wired to blow if the cell phone dies. 
I've also got one of your rifles pointed at her so I can shoot her. Or anyone else I figure isn't working out. Liberty? Oops. Is he always that sympathetic? He probably thinks you're a terrorist. A terrorist? Why is that? Because of the deals you cut with Senator Tallman. Government involvement is classified. Hey, they're on their way, all right? Just hold on a second. Your husband just hung up on you. That's because he thought he was protecting me. We signed a no deals policy so that we wouldn't be vulnerable to every, every f***ing terrorist. It was a condition for the military. Oh, please. What does signing a contract really have to do with it? Don't answer. Liberty. Hey, it's me. It's for real. Listen, I'm at the corner of 9th and Grace. I have about 45 minutes left on my battery. Liberty, talk to me. Do you have any idea who we're dealing with? No. He said something about us bailing on a deal. I don't know what he's talking about. I th the only one big enough is the one going through Paris. Nothing more specific? No. I don't get it. How did you leave it with Washington? Done. The money's wired. I mean, what does he want? Hijack the ship and what does he want? Don't get dramatic. If they wanted you dead, you would be. I'm hanging up now. I'm on it. I don't believe you. You do that again. I'll shoot innocent people on your behalf. Yeah, yeah, we should go back tomorrow. Oh. He didn't even say goodbye, did he? Well, he's got a lot at stake. International arms dealing's tricky business. No loyalties. Call Brian. I already did. Oh, good boy. Very good boy. <sighs> this is a hostage situation. Your hands are tied. <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? Go and sip tea in a safe house while my wife is chained to a bomb? Calm down. You're a target, too. She knows the drill. You both signed the security agreement. The machinery just kicked in. I'm calm. I'm very calm. <laughs> Step away. You see what happened here? I didn't see anything. 1986 request backup. Request immediate backup. Shots fired. Officer down. Possibly oh dead. My God. Request paramedics. He's barely got a pulse. What? Do you have an open marriage, or is it all just pretend from the beginning? I'm sure this isn't about our marriage. But I'm the last person you're going to speak to on this earth, so might as well tell me everything. He'll hunt you down. He might hunt you down. You just became a security risk. You know, they took out JFK over the price of oil, so I'd say your chances of being a military target are pretty high. Like you said, the stakes are high. It's all more important than an individual, am I right? Is that what you tell yourself every day? I'm only a cog in the great wheel of misfortune. It's the way it is. How'd you end up here? How did that happen? Look, I can make a deal or break one. I have my own connections. Let's get back to your little theater gig. Backstage every Thursday. Body guards off limits, of course. Do you pretend it's passion? Or is it like taking Prozac? Leave Russell out of this. He had better be dead, or I swear to God, I'm going to kill him. Oh, this publicist. I don't know where he's hiding. You're on, folks. Name your terms, Joe. This is about dignity. My daughter's death robbed her of hers, and you're going to dredge up whatever little nobility you have left and give the world a little of what she had. Can't believe she'd want this. She was a fighter. 
like you I wasn't so I had to make a choice jump out the window or live by the rules that she died by what happened to her a boy in a school armed and <laughs> headlines that make every mommy and daddy in America cross their fingers ah <sighs> For the grace of God, go I. So, now I'm using the same right to bear arms he had. It's an all in package, I was told. And you can't with freedom. To quote a phrase. How do you know that? What? Your father's last words. Brilliant, brilliant way to go out, I thought. In fact, it was, it was what made me choose you as the spokesperson. Nobody knew what my dad's note said. Just shoot me, get it over with, I'm sick of your bullshit! How do you know so much about me? I'm good with details. Nobody knew what was in that note, Joe. Only the cops. It was a long time ago. The files are filed. Unless you're a cop, is that it? What makes you think you should do this? You don't have kids, so you don't know. God bless America! Just give us a minute. Stay there. Psych ward. She may have seen something. I'll check it out. Hey, get back here! I don't want them getting any closer. What do you got your hands in the air for? Don't come any closer! Hmm. Looks like your husband sent some goons to protect you and your relationships. There's Washington, the Middle here? East. Mayor's office, the police, the mob. Oof. You guys work on hey. all sides of the fence. It must be hard to keep track. Did you see what happened over there? So this is really about Victor. You're a package. What? Now it's time to make your deal with God. You all right? Say no. His walkie signal is bad thing for sensitive explosive detonators. Get back! Get back! There's a bomb in here! Did you say bomb? Now what? Well, thank you for getting the ball rolling. But improvise again and everything goes boom. We have She said there's a bomb. Let's call the Henry guys just in case. Dispatch 11, 1986, request Henry unit. It's the alley of 10th and Grace ASAP. Request DLT traffic control. 712, Olive and May. Henry unit on its way. It's gang turf, could be something he stuck his nose into. RTO 1986, Henry car returning, code 3, responding from Valencia to downtown. Alright, copy dispatch. Should we clear the area? 1986, stay with officer, wait for each unit and supervisor. Paramedic, ETA, 7 minutes. Good copy. So, gentlemen, a bit of a grisly situation Bill, here. Bill. You're here early. Give us some space, all right? Yeah, well, you know, I'm always on the hunt for that Emmy. Yeah, hey, look, we got nothing for you yet. Family hasn't been informed, so no names yet. What happened? Bill, we've been here five minutes, okay? Just back off. You'll be the first to know. I promise. Okay, yeah, Just promises, over there. promises. One Adam 97 respond. One Adam 97 respond. Bill Tolman? Look at the hot dog stand. She can tell you the story. No cameras yet. Stay on the phone. I'm gonna wanna know who you are before I get any deeper into this thing. You were happy to get a tip 20 minutes ago. Why all of a sudden change of heart? Because a cop is down. And you can help. You're the only one I'll let her talk to. She saw it all. Bill! Jesus Bill. Christ, Bill, get back here! 
The bomb squad's on the way. I got a guy on the cell phone tells me she's got the whole story. Oh, son of a... No one, not you, not us goes over there. Swear to God, I'll take you down, Phil. I'll get it back. Welcome to our party. We're conferenced. Hey team, Liberty Wallace, please let me introduce you to Bill Tolman. We're lucky to have Bill join us. He's ambitious, smart, and for the most part, honest. And you are? I'm Joe. I'm out for vengeance. Liberty needs forgiveness. And we both need publicity. Why me? Your lucky day. Why don't you bring him up to speed, Liberty? He's got a military issue sniper rifle pointed right at you. He's an excellent shot. There's a bomb in the hot dog cart. It's set to blow if my cell phone battery dies for any reason. The bomb's big enough to blow up this entire block. Think of Oklahoma. That theater's gonna let out in less than an hour. I have less than an hour left on my battery. Look. I'd die either way. Unless you get out of here, so do you. Aren't you Liberty Wallace of, um... Yes. Any demands? Yes. He wants somebody to pay for the death of his daughter. Almost right. Joe's daughter died... kid with a gun. was a gun manufactured by my company. He wants me to die knowing I have blood on my hands. Joe, you gotta rethink here. This is crazy. Bill, there's a real gun pointed at you. What I mean is, there are other ways. Mm-hmm. And that's where you come in, Bill. So you want me to use my influence as a journalist to debate the right to bear arms with you because you got a gun pointed at me? And I'm standing next to a bomb that's on final countdown? Yeah. And what happens when all this is over? I blow my brains out. So this becomes my journalistic moment of truth. Your Emmy and your quest. I'm sorry, Joe. What do you want me to say here? Say yes. No. Say that you're accountable. Say yes. There are plenty of causes, Joe. Bill, look at Liberty. She's going to die. It's her choice when, it's my choice how. You have a similar dilemma. Now, look around. <laughs> It's coming! I'll do whatever he wants. He's going to die in your arms, Liberty. Get ready. Watching someone die changes. It's okay. Forever. 1986, in this match, we have a female with a gun. I'm not dying. His father is Senator Robert Tolton. He's also a constitutional lawyer. He lobbied for the NRA, so we know what side his bread is put on. <laughs> He's proud of his son. And now, like me, has every reason to switch sides. Hey, Walker! Okay. okay, okay. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you? Turn that thing off! I told you! Okay. Oh. Just hang on, help's coming. No, it's not. Sue me! Get him out of here! This kind of press. Ten o'clock news, buddy. Up, back it up. Go away, follow me. Ah. Why are you 
doing this? <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? Tell me! Your dick is the size of the little trigger on that gun! That makes you nothing, Joe! You're less than nothing! You probably didn't even have a daughter. If you did, she's better off dead. I'll forgive you for that. Given the circumstances. Just kill me! Get Shut it over up! With! I'm not the one I can't shooting. Take any more. I'm hang up. That <laughs> was shooting with a nine millimeter, so he hasn't got a hope of hitting you from that distance. Victor, you have made my day. It's kind of ironic. Me saving your life. tape recorder in his suit pocket. Name names, Liberty. Blow the lobby's wide open. Peels are always good Shit. news makers. You're an okay. amateur, Joe. No, no, don't tell me that you're worried about the fallout. Your husband or someone he works for has ordered the CIA thugs to put a bullet in you. Is that the world you want to live in? What do you think you can accomplish by me babbling about Senator this and Senator that? That's not going to do anything. It's a start. It's an end, Joe. Do what I can really do. Let me work from the inside. I can, I can, I can do something. Oh, so that's what you tell yourself every morning? Joe, so I can really change things. I promise you I'll do it. I promise. Count on our nation's finest to serve and protect. Shots fired. I've got a civilian down, possibly dead. Looks like a shooter. <laughs> Senator Libby took at least three payments in cash. Senator Lipton, Crick, Congressman Gomez. Check Geneva bank accounts, Swiss Union bank accounts, Cayman Islands, Bahamas. My husband. Victor Wallace is the president's wife, oh. among others. Presidents or wives? What do you want me to do? Nothing. You're on a roll. Keep it going. You're already on the news. You know, Victor's mobilized every senator I just mentioned. The police chief is in his back pocket. He supplies the gang that controls this corner, for Christ's sake. He? Okay, I. We. I. I'm in this. Okay, is that what you want me to say? I'm in it. Yes. Now who are you gonna trust? Nobody. Keep talking. No. Name names, I'll bury everyone who deserves it, but you have to shut this bomb off. Uh, can't. Then I can't. Fair enough. You've done your job anyway. Now we can depend on Bill's dad, the senator, in his newfound quest. He'll go down as a hero for the cause. It was a life well spent in the big picture.
have a hot dog. You don't want to go out on an empty stomach. Let them take him away. like we've got ourselves a sniper. Now, there's no ID on the woman and no trace on her cell phone yet. If she's chained to the stand, she told officers that there's a bomb, all right? We believe she's working with the sniper. The man on the ground out there is a reporter with KNBS, Bill Tolman, the senator's son. We believe shot. We have a confirmed fatality in the parking structure back here. We don't have enough information on that yet, but we can't rule out terrorists, militia, or just your basic nutcase. Now, we're going to block from 5th to 10th, all of to Barry. Now, we've got at least 20 buildings to evacuate. We're thin on manpower, so use uh, uniforms to back you up. All right? Be safe, gentlemen. Thank you. Let's go. 58. Captain, we got uh, no location on the shooter, no ID on the woman. We got backup coming in. We're set up in the garage back here. Well, somebody shut them down. Jesus. Clear the media back, please. We are live. The drama continues in downtown LA, where we apparently have a fatal shooting of an officer here at the corner of Grace and Nines. Your wife's gonna be tuning in. <laughs> No, but I guarantee your husband's watching. Back to you, Dennis. <laughs> My husband. My husband's on the way to the airport by now. He will be unreachable for comment. Why'd you marry him? Thought he could save my father's company. It was a bad idea. I even thought I loved him. Can we do a shield rescue for the guy on the ground? No, it's too risky till we find out where the shooter is. Poor bastard's gonna bleed out. I want all traffic locked down from 5th to 9th. Yeah, that's done already. Good. Who's the negotiator on call? Johnson will be here in 10 minutes, Captain. Joe, more death isn't gonna make the guns disappear. It's not gonna bring your daughter back. Look, I'm begging you. Oh, liberty. Tiananmen Square boiled down to one man standing in front of a tank that couldn't move or shoot because human dignity was stronger than steel or bullets. We changed the nation. That was a completely different situation. What's the difference? We got gated communities, security systems, and kids carrying combat weapons, all because most people haven't even read the Second Amendment. So, our freedom of speech is protected. So as long as we don't piss off a guy with a gun, I'm not brave enough to take a bullet from my country. You underestimate yourself. The one thing that guarantees our freedom and independence is responsibility. We lost that somewhere between Vietnam and presidential blowjobs. Many of the fathers of the Constitution had slaves, but they wrote a document about freedom. Go <laughs> figure. So you see, things aren't meant to change. We're all grown up now. So are you, Liberty. And I think you figured out that there is no such thing as a politically correct gun. I'll say all that to the press. But please turn this bomb off, Joe. I don't know what to do next. <laughs> Feels like this whole thing was a dream. I should have told you before, but I... What do we do now?
you make that deal too? It's more of a donation. <laughs> and I'll bet you were a hero. I got a big luncheon, key to the city, mayor in my pocket. You make it sound so easy. Got the cash flow, a little planning goes a long way. Well, did they know you had just sold 26 stripped down P99s that went straight to the street? I guess it was one of those an eye for an eye deals. Well, it's easy to get lost in a deal. I know it's not an excuse. Uh, this is a perfect f nightmare. 127 locations for an a with a gun. Got that cell phone we can't bust into and a bomb next to a theater. Anybody picking up in there yet? Just voicemail. F***ing voicemail. Shooter is back. Who's he work for? Your husband or the CIA? Whoever's got the cash. Who's the cowboy in the chopper? We'll get him higher. He's surveillance. I don't want him landing on the rooftop. Guys, let, let's get in there. Let's get into the theater. Let's go, let's go. I should have told you before, but I... What do we do now? It's up to you. Do you still love me? Of course I do. How about you? Of course. It won't make a bit of difference. shot by the same guy who's got liberty. I'm calling your husband. Why? Yeah. Who called the militia? I want to talk to liberty. Touch. So it's not one of yours? That's not good, Victor. Liberty, you there? Such a sweet name, don't you think? Her parents were Republican. I want to talk to my wife. I'm here, alive, and on TV. I, um... I know, you're doing what you have to do. You know who's calling the shots. The president's wife? Not. If it were her, you'd be standing here. Um, I'm, I'm doing what I can, but you know the rules, right? Oh, honey. <laughs> Joe, hang up. Well, what she meant is, why don't you let her die with some dignity? Mr. Wallace is leaving. Yes, sir. Right through here. Right this way. Through here. How do you know Victor? Classified. This way. Come on, let's go. Victor! Okay. Copy that. Who the fuck is she? We just ID her. Liberty Wallace? The VP of McLeod, married to the CEO, connections up the wazoo. Jesus Christ, I know him, Victor. Yeah, we're trying to track him down right now. And there's no way she's worth the shooter. She's a hostage. So I'm bait? No. More like... More like a showpiece. I like your reckless side. You travel without your bodyguard. 
five hours every week and sometimes twice. You were a little bit more accessible and predictable than the president's life. So who's pissed off at Victor, the president? No. It's all me this time. I was a dad. Not anymore. Somebody's pulling your string. Who is it? No one. Not now. I never thought my skills from my former life would ever pay off. CIA. That too. Come on, if I'm gonna die, I have the right to know my assassin a little better. I worked covert. Covert operations for the CIA. I was in China doing Tiananmen Square, Cuba, Panama, and I was in Colombia. But my daughter was killed. die because they're talking to me, Joe, so what's it gonna be? Uh-uh-uh. It's your show, baby. Just leave me out of this for now. There's a bomb in the hot dog cart! It's set to blow when my cell phone dies! In about 15 minutes! I'm chained to the cart! What are the demands? A public debate of the Second Amendment! Hmm. Heard of it? <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to understand. understand. Are there any other demands? Can I come closer? Any other demands? No. No! Liberty. I will kill anyone who comes close. We have no confirmation yet, but it appears that KNBS reporter Bill Tolman has been seriously hurt and that Liberty Wallace of McLeod Guns is demanding a public debate about the Constitution and its role in our violent times. She's grandstanding. you got to be malicious. Sir? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Liberty Wallace. You were good under the pressure. And the whole world will applaud you. Or laugh at me. Press is the least of my concerns at this point. I'll try to move them back, but, uh... Yes, sir. I'll move them back right away. Thank you, sir. Get rid of the press. Tell them it's a safety issue. Uptown doesn't want this thing under a microscope. They're gonna make a move, Joe. And they'll never disarm that bomb. They probably already guessed that. You won't be alone in the final moment. Status on the theater. Somebody welded all the side exits shut. We got an entry team coming in, but the fire department is stuck in traffic. All exits? Yeah, our cutters won't work. The only exit is onto the street through the front door. So in the hospitals. Tell me about your daughter again. Boy school put a gun to her head and asked her if she believed in God. What did she say? I don't know. What did she say? I don't know. Is that robot ready to go? I'll be here in 15. What about the bomb truck? We got one coming in from the 48 ETA 30 minutes. General evacuation? We got a phone train going. We're gonna find this soon. It's just gonna take a little time. Tell me about your father. My father.
father. He was my hero. He was. After he, um, you know, <laughs> I had to leave school to earn a living. One thing led to the next. <sighs> I found myself working in the family business, no longer family owned. Hey, Captain, I only got 10 guys. We should be fine once the 53rd squad shows up. That should be another uh, 10 or 12 minutes. We're not going to make it. It's all I knew. Along came Victor. He was brilliant, but he could save my father's company. Our first big deal was with the Saudis. But the Iraqis were shooting us with our own guns. What do people think the government does with all those used weapons? Melt them down, make them sculptures after to the company international. Suddenly we were in a different league. It got complicated. Here I am. And Russell made you feel human again. And anonymous. My great-great-grandfather, he designed the gun that changed the outcome of the Civil War. <laughs> I grew up thinking that's what we were still doing. Sorry about your daughter. Russians or the Pakistanis or the Girl Scouts. The guy's voice is American. This is an internal thing. Get on it. I want to know who the f else is shooting at my wife. Yeah. Where are you going? Why? <laughs> the bereaved husband. When are you going to stop screwing around and tell me what this is all about? You're doing it by the book. Go on a business trip, be unavailable for comment, touch down in Washington for a little FaceTime with the client. Check the temperature. I don't really have a whole lot of choice in that, do I? Joe? We know each other, don't we? Don't we? Do any time in South America? Well, who did None of us really came through that with our mental health intact, did we? I mean, God knows, it took me a while to pull my shit together when I got back. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mental health thing. Amen. Or at least, well, you were a company man, because God knows they'd never go for this kind of theatrical bullshit. What is your beef with me? That you'd run away and let them take liberty. That you're not man enough to stand up for your wife. I hope you're impressed with your life. Grayson Knight. Sure about that, sir? Grayson Knight. Got it. Sniper shooting at our guys on the ground. How many down? No report yet. Look to the back, we can't shoot. 
You got the guy that moves. Yeah. Nobody moves till we get more information. You stood. Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Guy in the roof's not the sniper. Well, who the f is he then? Why is he shooting at No report yet. Pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Yeah. Chuck says he's talking to Gold Star Clearance. CIA. Jesus, get him down here if he's still breathing. What is the off? Are you begging for lives? Shots My guys are thinking the brick, maybe the car, but I'm thinking higher than a center. Way too much information. Status on backup. Think hard and you'll get it all figured out. Do you mean think? Come on, come clean. Taking my life, you owe me that much. If I'm CIA or FBI, and I went through all of this because someone very high up wants a lot of visibility. Okay, okay, stupid thought. But you can't write this off to be some big conspiracy. That's what a confused the f out of all of them. Think. Think about how you're doing on the scoreboard. It's not like I woke up one day and said, wow, it's great to be in the lethal weapons business. It's like the guy on the corner who sells newspapers. It's what I do. What else am I going to do? Be the boss. It's your life, isn't it? If the idea was for me to see God, you've achieved it. And I prayed for Christ's sake. There's a parking garage. Let's assemble in there. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. I'm like, like My daughter was killed, my wife came apart. We met the parents of the kid who did it. His father died. And he told us that he had taught his son how to use it safely. Never saw it coming. I wanted to kill that kid. And I wanted to kill the father. But here I am instead. Thank you. This is no way to die. This is no way out. Thought about this for a long time. Bomb squad wants us to move further back. Captain, it's Victor Wallace on the line. Nobody move. Victor, Hank here. Jesus Christ. You know what this is about? I was hoping you'd tell me. I don't believe you. We found a guy on a roof shooting at her. He looks CIA. You get him? No, somebody else shot him. The guy we got's not the sniper, or, or maybe he's he's one of them. My ass is hanging out here, Victor. I need you to tell me what's going on. What's going on? We're dealing with a nutcase. That's what's going on. Yeah, we're a terrorist buying time. It's only been half an hour, and the press is still stacking up. I'm five minutes away. This action may be connected to the recent lawsuit filed by seven of the largest gun makers, alleging that efforts by government to impose gun safety measures amounts to a conspiracy that violates constitutional guarantees of free trade. Wallace's company, McLeod Guns, is at the center of this controversy by refusing to become signatory to any government proposal that legislates more controls. Thanks for that breaking news. Now on the international... 31.
31 cities and countries have brought charges against manufacturers claiming they're not doing enough to keep guns out of the hands of children and criminals. Apparently, Wallace is staging a high-stakes protest against the very industry that made her family famous in America. Back to you, Dennis. We're in the final stretch, Liberty. So, what's your plan? I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want anyone else to die because of me, too. Me neither. <laughs> you know, the NRA is just going to spin this and say it's because of people like you who need to be armed. I was an honest, law-abiding citizen. By that definition, I deserved to be armed. And I was acting out against the oppression of our freedom. There it is. I first saw you in Jerusalem about three years ago. You must have made a hell of a deal because they were kissing your ass. <laughs> did I meet you? No. I did business with Victor, though. On behalf of the Saudis. Seems he likes to sell on all sides. We met in our early days. Seriously flawed mission to Colombia. Saved his life. <laughs> I saved the life of the man that killed my daughter. Death isn't as exciting as I thought it would be. This has absolutely nothing to do with McLeod Industries. These are the actions of an insane man. And my wife is a wonderful woman. She's a wonderful woman. I can hear that? Victor and Kekko out there. I just want to let her see me. Why? Because I think I know who this guy is. And I think I can get her out of this. Whatever you're thinking, I can't this let... This is my problem. Don't make me make problems for you. You're good to the car. I said the car! Liberty! Well, here we are again. In the kill zone, what can I do for you? I remember the day you wept like a baby. Well, I promised not to let you die. Okay, okay, you saved my life. Yep. 
Wasn't I thankful enough then? Well, thanks again. I mean it. But I have a feeling that what's really actually expected of me is some sort of big public confession. Am I right? What am I supposed to say? Joe, don't do it. That that, that really shiny one that I have is actually for, for leading a bunch of men to their death? Is that what I'm supposed to say? Come on. Alex, it's a war. That's the kind of stuff that happens. You think I'm proud of it? I didn't ask for the medal. Your death is going to mean something. My goodness. Won't. Joe, don't do it. Don't do it! Don't! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Get him inside, fast! Come on, come on, move! Go, let's go! Ouch! Liberty! Liberty! It's time. Time for you to go. Keys for your cuffs. He's in a box stuffed to the other side of the cart near the corner. Okay, guys, it's got to be this one right here. Seventh and off the ladder. Move on it. Seventh and off the ladder. Now bring the chopper into the back of this guy. I'll blow it right out of the sky. Some kind of shooter can hold up that far. In the theater, the officer needs backup. There's people panicking, smoke everywhere. Fire's been set or something. <laughs> Guys, all eyes up for the wall is warming.
No other civilian casualties from the explosion. We've had a fire reported in the back of the theater, sir. No damage, no casualties, so all noise and smoke. Maybe shoot it. Close range. My great great grandfather, he designed the gun that changed the outcome of the Civil War. <laughs> I promise you I'll do it. 